out again, man, you haters can't see me. I'm smoked out again, man, you haters can't see me. I'm smoked out again, man, you haters can't see me. This push that I'm on got me though like a priest. <laughs> What's up, guys? Sergeant G here from the Stone Vet USMC. Happy Friday. Happy Wednesday. Damn, I'm so happy Friday, guys. Ooh, it's getting close. I don't know. Hump day, right? It's almost there. Weekend's almost there. We're almost to the end of the week. Hump day. Sometimes it can be a little bit rough. Sometimes it can be a little bit easier. It depends on how your week's going. Hopefully, it's going really good. Us, it is, man. I'm getting ready to start picking out things for the house. I'm super excited. You know how it goes, though. If you ever built a house before, you can understand the headaches and frustration that come along with it. You got to pick tiles and colors and flooring and baseboards, doorknobs, pools for the cabinets. You name it, dude. There's so much stuff that has to be done to get ready to build a house, man. I don't know. It was Wednesday and I got in here and I was like, man, what am I going to talk about today? What am I going to talk about, man? It's Marine Corps Wednesday, so we always got to talk about some Marine Corps news, right? I was reading Marine Corps Times today, like always. Like I said, I always get on there and like to read, read what's going on, man. And it was a great article, man. I was reading in here, Marine Corps Times. After six years of attempts, Marine Corps Master Guns finally wins the recon challenge. If you guys don't know, an E9 is a Master Gunnery Sergeant. So, I mean, I think similar to the Army. I don't know how similar it is with the Army, but the Army and the Marine Corps. So the Marine Corps has two E9s. They have a Sergeant Major who is more of the administrative side, and a master guns who's more of a technical side. That guy really doesn't, he sees paperwork, but he doesn't see paperwork like the Sergeant Major would see when it comes to like administrative disciplines and stuff like that. Master guns is a technical guy. I remember when I first joined the Corps, that was my goal, to be a master guns. Come to find out, there's only like five in the entire Marine Corps in my MOS that I was doing at the time as an engineer. It was crazy, dude. And so these guys did a recon challenge. Recon. I don't know how the Army, what the Army thinks about recon. Recon, 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 right? Marine Corps recon some of the baddest freaking Marines that are out there. So they did a challenge, a recon challenge, dude. Man, this recon challenge is 25 miles. 25 miles of obstacles. They had to go, had a 50 pound rock on their backs, hiking up the hills in California. I was a California Marine. I tell people I'd rather deal with the mountains than deal with the sand fleas. That's my take. Some people like sand fleas. They like getting bit by sand, by bugs all the time. I'd rather deal with the mountains. Plain and simple. It makes it a lot easier for me to be able to deal with the mountains Versus dealing with the bugs. I hate bugs. <laughs> I hate bugs. You know, as Marines, we're always out in the field. We're always doing something. Maybe some of you Army guys might be too. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe you guys did. Maybe you guys don't. I don't I don't know, man. But this this thing is intense. You know, the purpose of the, of the recon challenge is to honor those who have fallen before us. It's, it's, it, it, it's a pretty on, It's a good honor. It's a nice honor. These guys are active duty. You know, Master Gunnery Sergeant, these guys are old, dude. In the 40s, almost 50 years old. They've been in there 30 plus years. I mean, depending on some of my MOSs, though, you know. Every MOS is different. For in the Marine Corps, we have cutting scores. And then once you get up to Staff NCO, which is E6, Staff Sergeant, and then you start going on, uh, then it's almost like it's, it's almost a, it's like a selection board. Like if you meet all your requirements that you're supposed to meet, and then you'd be selected. But if you don't meet all the requirements, then you're not going to get selected. So depending on your MOS, of course, the Marine Corps, your MOS, what your job specialty, whatever. It depends. I mean, like I said, in my MOS, in my MOS as an engineer, there really wasn't a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? And so a lot of jobs would close out. I've, I've seen plenty of people got kicked out of the Marine Corps because they wouldn't open up the job for them to get promoted. And so this guy here, this Master Guns and his teammate went in, and like I said, it was a 50-pound rock that they had to carry, 50-pound pack they had to carry up the mountains. The biggest thing is the aquatic events, man. I was reading on this. They had to do a 1,000-meter swim, 
hike Camp Pendleton, total of 10 stations, rifle pistol events, knot ties in the pool, two obstacle courses, casualty evacuation. And they carried, the, what was great is that this Master Guns, he's a recon Marine. And what's great is that he was doing this in the honor of the men that he lost. The men that he lost serving in Iraq and Afghanistan right now, going on in the war. You know, he, this, this is an event to honor the Gold Star families, you know, the fallen reconnaissance Marines who died serving our country, protecting us, you know, giving those left handed liberals the liberty to be able to go out and do what they do to our country. Those guys that died for that, you know. The, the, one of the biggest obstacles that caught me, dude, was this daggum, he says, the second to last event. These guys had to get in the pool there in Horno, Camp Pendleton in that area, and drag a seven-ton tire underwater from the deep end to the shallow end. Seven tons is heavy. When you're underwater, guess what? It's full of water now, too, on top of the seven tons. I don't know. I don't know how in the hell you get a seven-ton tire from one end of the pool to the other end. Marines, we have to swim. We swim a lot, you know, almost like the Navy SEALs and stuff. We have to swim a lot. We, there's a lot of swimming being a Marine. You do have swim qualifications and stuff like that. I only got up to second class, the highest I could ever go. Because it was so intense, dude. It was so much, you know. You got second class and the first class. And so I guess I'm always second in what I'm doing and stuff like that. You know, but not only did they have to take this damn tire from the steep end to the shallow end, they even had to take this thing over a ledge. So they had to pull it up over a ledge to get it over to the shallow end. You know, and it's just, just the, just how, like, I guess they gave them ropes and other things to assist them getting this daggone tire over to the shallow end of the pool, you know, but to actually sit here and go through everything for this obstacle course, I mean, it's intense. Like I said, it's 25 miles of obstacle courses. In the Marine Corps, we always do stupid stuff stupid all the time. But it's like he said, man, it was an honor to be able to go out there and run this obstacle course for the Gold Star families of those Marines that we've lost during this war in Iraq and Afghanistan. I mean, the Army being the biggest, of course, you've lost the most. But, I mean, during this time, he and what he said what the, what, what the honor was that some of the Gold Star families were actually there watching them compete against each other. And he said it was an honor to be able to go out and give them a hug and let them know that they were doing this for them. During our times, man, it, it can get hard. Our days can get dark sometimes, you know. it's It's been... There are some days that get hard, man, but there's a lot of people who are making differences in our communities, which is great. I absolutely love it, man. This Friday, I got Ryan Saunders. He used to be a recruiter, Marine Corps recruiter, who's gotten out. He's fresh, though. He got out in 2018, and now he owns his own construction company. In Oklahoma, we got a lot of, got a lot of weather in Oklahoma. Like I said, April 28th, we had a massive hailstorm come through. Softball size hell came through, sweeping out some buildings, taking out some windows, destroying cars. So business is good for him right now. It's a great story though. He talks about his dark times. We all go through it. We all have our dark days. We all deal with different things in life, man. But what are we doing to actually help? Guess what? Getting ready to start counseling again. And things, I mean, sometimes you need a counselor. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed to reach out for help. Like I said before, like I said last week, man, you guys, we have to be taking care of each other, helping each other, understanding each other, getting the help we need when we need it, you know. It's great because, look, this is my therapy. I've signed up for the Veteran Podcast Awards. Veteran Podcast Awards was created by my brother over a broken jarhead. 
the guy who does my shirts for me. Like I tell you guys, man, I do my shows to help bring us together. After getting out of service, we always get lost and we're trying to figure out what the hell are we supposed to be doing now since I ain't got Siren G telling me what to do anymore. That's what I love about being able to host the show for you guys to sit here and talk with you guys to hopefully give you insight on what's going on, man. I haven't watched the news in a while. That's why I ain't got nothing. I've been standing up on my soapbox lately. I've got so much other stuff going on right now. It's like, I know I got to come out here and do a show for you guys so you guys have, can hear my voice. You know, like I said before, sometimes some people were like, ah, I can't get on YouTube and watch the video. I don't have time to get on the video. But guess what? Now I'm on everywhere. I'm everywhere now, man. I'm on iHeartRadio, Spotify, iTunes, Google, TuneIn, Dita, Stitcher, wherever you listen to podcasts, whatever platform you listen to podcasts, that's where I'm at. And guess what? I got to tell you guys about this. Good Pods. Good Pods is an app full of plat- it's full of podcasts. Anything and everything. My brother Shane over a broken jawhead. He got me on there. He said, You gotta go try check this thing out. It's almost like a book club. It's a place where all podcasters go, upload their podcast or claim their podcast, and you're able to listen to it. So you're not just get me. But then you get my brother Shannon over at the Basic Vet. How many of you guys have had opportunity to check out Shannon over there at the Basic Vet? Or you got the Broken Podcast. My brother Shane over at Broken Jarhead has his own show. He's got five episodes coming out a week. He's got one every day. These are 15 minutes flat. He tells you that 15 minutes flat shows in and out, dude. Sometimes he'll just cut it out and leave you guys hanging one more. I guess this was part of having a podcast, having you guys come back asking for more. If you get on iTunes and you check out the Stone Vet USMC, make sure you leave me a five-star review so I can hit up that algorithm so we can get more people in here hanging out with us. Come to listen to the craziness that we got, the things that we're doing. If you guys listen to Veteran Trash Talk like you are right now, get over there and hang out with the Stone Vet USMC. I got my own platform as well. It's about bringing everybody together, helping each other out so that we don't leave no man behind. You know, I got to tell you guys, I love you guys. We're here for each other. We're here to help each other. We're here to support each other. No matter where we're at in life or whatever, like I told you, I'll call you. I'll talk to you. You want to talk to me? Reach out to me. I'm the only guy that answers my own messages. If you hit me up on Facebook or wherever you want to hit me up at. Hit me up over there smoking bacon. Wade over there is doing some great things and smoking bacon, hooking us up, getting everything set up for us, man. He got tired of Facebook, locking him out, putting him in jail. He said, screw it, I'll make my own platform, man. Get nobody put me in jail if I own my own platform, right? People get mad because you got to pay. You got to pay because you get some good stuff that Facebook ain't going to let you have. Get some awesome things. Awesome veterans over there doing their own thing as well, man. I can tell you guys, man, I love you guys. It's Wednesday. Get over that hump. I'm here to help you. You need a push? Just like this, this team of Marines that went through the recon challenge. There's two of them in a pack. You never go by yourself. You guys learned that while you were seven. You always got a battle buddy with you. You never go by yourself. You don't want to get lost. So if you get lost, you got somebody with you, so both of y'all look like idiots, right? It's usually how it works, right? We, all, we both look like it is, not just one of us. Man, appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. I ain't got my button. I didn't bring my button over here. I got it over there on the other desk. Like, What you guys think of the new scenery? I had to get out, I'm telling you. I'm trying to get this house packed up, cleaned out, so we can get it sold. Hopefully I can make some good money off of it. Right now it's a seller's market, right? Hopefully I can get the right amount for us so I can pay off all my debt and be able to buy this new house, this big freaking house I got to build. Once I get a bill, you guys hit me up, come over, have a barbecue, hang out, do do what us veterans do best is enjoy our camaraderie together. Enjoy the time together, man. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I need more followers, man. I see people getting followers left and right. Are you guys sharing it? Share my content. 
Don't forget to go over to Spotify, download whatever, however you do it there. Download it, listen to it. Go over to iTunes, give me that five-star review so I can hit that algorithm so more people can hear the content that I'm putting out for you guys, man. Don't forget to check out Rafa 180. I love that they want my sponsor. Rafa 180, serving FDA-regulated medicinal-grade CBD. Don't be scared of CBD. Maybe you think it didn't work for you. It didn't work because you didn't get the right dosage. Just like any medication that the doctor gives you, you always got to make sure you're on the right dosage. They take care of people. And they take care of veterans. They love veterans. You go over there. When you go to checkout, you type in BTT. Victor Tango Tango gets you 15% off, man. Go over to BrokenJawhead.com. You can get some of these cool shirts over there. Veteran Podcast Awards. He's got some cool shirts. When you go to check out, make sure you tag freaking Stone Bay USMC because you heard it from me. So I can get more votes. I got to get the votes and I got to win this, man. There's some great freaking veterans out there that are doing some awesome things. Great veteran podcast out there, man. You can go check out the vet- Military Veteran Podcast Awards. Shane over at Broken Jawhead. Created the October 5th is now Vet- Military Veteran Podcast Day. So he decided to give us an award show as well. I know VTT's joined in on the fight with me. Hopefully we can bring the award home so you guys can be proud of us because we keep doing it for you guys. We have to eliminate the 22 a day, man. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me on this Wednesday. Get over that hump. Come hang out with me this Friday. I got Ryan Saunders telling me about his experiences in the Marine Corps, how he got out, why he got out, and the things he's doing now to better himself. Found his purpose again. That's our biggest goal is finding our purpose again, right? I love you guys. Remember, hit the stone vet. We got your six.